I'm Ariana Lasha and today I'm here at Briar Lake Animal Hospital where I'll be speaking with Dr. Hiro Iwamoto about choosing the perfect pet for you and your lifestyle. Good morning, Dr. Hiro, and thank you so much for having me here today. Oh, we're so happy to have you here. Dr. Hiro Iwamoto and his wife, Dr. Robin Hoshell, have been practicing veterinary medicine in the Atlanta area for the past 15 years. They've been here at the Shallow Food location for the past three months. Dr. Hiro, if you're ready, I'd love to see your facility. All right, well, let's go take a look. So what we're walking into now is the treatment area. That is sort of the heart of a veterinary hospital. It's where all of the procedures happen. It's where our pharmacy is, our laboratory, where we check for parasites, we can run lab work, and of course our OR where we do surgeries. Well, great, let's sit down and talk more about it. Great. So Dr. Hero, we know that you know pets can come into our lives in many different ways. Sometimes you plan to adopt one, sometimes they just show up on your doorstep. But in your opinion, what are the most, you know, most important first steps that you can do when you're, you know, bringing a pet into your family? Oh, absolutely. And we never know, you know, a lot of times it is planned, sometimes it's not. But one of the most important things is to make sure that your family, your partner, that everyone is on board with having a new dog in the house because it is a lifelong commitment for the dog, both emotionally, financially, in, in all respects, it, it's gonna change your life, so you need right. to make sure. Do you have any tips or suggestions on how to get your home and yard ready? Like, what type of supplies do you already need to have? Some of the basics that a lot of people probably already know about, um, it's very important to have a dog crate because a lot of training revolves around the dog crate and you know, a dog needs a sort of a safe place and in its own spot in the house. Um, the obvious ones are bowls and leashes and collars, toys, those sorts of things. But um, a lot of those aren't critical when you first uh, get a dog, but the, the crate is probably the most important thing. And when you're bringing a pet into your home, let me ask you this. Say you are getting a pet from um, a shelter or a breeder. What types of questions do you need to ask that shelter or breeder professional, you know, before you bring your pet home? What do you need to know? Well, one of the things, or there's several things that you do need to know, but these are folks that have already been around the the pet that you're thinking about adopting. And so you need to ask them, has this dog been around other dogs? Is it familiar with cats if you have cats in your house? Is it familiar with children if you have children in your house? So these are all important things that the dog's already been socialized to that you'll want to know before you bring them home. And speaking of being in the know, I think a big deal that we should touch on is compatibility. How do you know that you'll be compatible with your pet? Because I see a dog and I think it's cute and I want all the dogs, but that doesn't mean I'm compatible for them or they're compatible for me. Absolutely. I think you one important thing is to take a very realistic look at yourself and know what kind of activity level that you are capable of, not necessarily that you just want to be um, doing for the dog. So you need to think about, are you a young, active family with kids that will be walking around that will be able to play with the dog? Or are you someone who likes to sit on the couch and just want a dog to snuggle up with you at night? So all of those things. Right. And so do you have any suggestions on any type of research that you can do prior to this process? Like any like specific websites that you recommend? Well, if you are looking at a dog from a shelter, I think it's important to try to get an idea of what breeds might be in that dog. And then you can go out and sort of get general ideas from breed clubs, um, like the national clubs that they all have websites that can kind of describe what the activity level is. The other thing is you can look at um, the descriptions that the fosters are putting up of those dogs and, and that kind of thing. So based upon lifestyle changes, anytime there's a new addition into a family, that's a big change. So whether it's, you know, you're adopting your first pet or you're adding a new one to the pet, what what type of lifestyle changes can you expect to see? Well, there are quite a few, and some of them you just can't. Uh, some of them you can't just can't expect. So when I first adopted my first dog, I automatically lost five pounds, <laughs> and I wasn't expecting that because I was walking him all the time. Another person I just talked to said he had been living in his building for over a year and didn't know one person in that building. A week after he adopted a dog, he knew every person in that building, and you know, people are asking him to have dinner with them and other things. And so it does, um, it does change your life in, in unexpected ways. So basically what you're saying is if you want to have friends and lose weight, then you need to get a dog. 
<laughs> it's one way for sure. <laughs> so speaking of like lifestyle changes and care that comes with a pet, what would you say are like the big, what does like the relationship between a pet owner and a veterinarian need to look like? Oh, that's a very good question. And so, you know, if you have a dog, you might already know this, but if you don't have a dog, you'll probably find out very soon. They very quickly become a loved member of the family and it is your veterinarian is someone you need to trust and be comfortable with to ask questions and to go to when you need help with any medical advice that sort of thing so you, you want to make sure they're compatible with your family along with pet care comes pet costs and things like that and something that we're seeing more and more is pet insurance so what does that look like in your practice are people actually using pet insurance absolutely it's becoming a bigger and bigger part of our industry um, and one thing that that really brings up is cost and a lot of people think that the adoption fee or you know whatever fee they pay when they're first getting a dog is going to be the end of the cost but really it's just the beginnings for example you may adopt a dog from a shelter that needs to be spayed or neutered and then you're automatically faced with a few hundred dollars that you weren't expecting and so um, financially it's definitely something you need to budget for and insurance can help a lot with that right and so all of those costs and things are all a part of you know pet care and uh, along with pet care comes things like bordering facilities and doggy daycares you know you wouldn't leave your child with just anybody so how can you know that you're leaving your dogs in the right hands and who can really be there for them when you can't well that is one thing you will have to find a place that you really trust because um, you know you're leaving one of your family members when you have to go away one thing um, I think it's important to Talk to your friends, family, neighbors, see who they are using, see who they trust. Um, go and visit the facilities. Make sure you find that they are treating the animals how you would want your animal treated. Um, watch the webcams, see what you think. Right, so I would say they call them fur babies for a reason. They're yeah. just, you know, babies with fur and you gotta take care of them and Absolutely. keep them like safe and ha make sure they have a happy and healthy lifestyle. Absolutely. So thank you so much for speaking with me today, Dr. Hero. Thank you for having me here. Oh, it was my pleasure, thank you. So hopefully you know more about, you know, the lifestyle of a pet and how to take care of them. Now let's head on over to Blake to see what he's up to. Roll over. <laughs> When you adopt a shelter pet, you discover all the things that make them unique. They're a little bit of a lot of things, but they're all pure love. 